In this lesson, I'll show you two examples on how to use intercepts to graph linear equations. Now to locate the x-intercept, you set y is equal to zero and solve for x. And to locate the y-intercept, you set x is equal to zero and solve for y. That being said, the question reads, graph each equation using their intercepts. Starting with a, we have three x plus two y is equal to six. I'll find the x-intercept and I can do that by setting this variable equal to zero. So at y is equal to zero, I have three x plus two times zero, that's zero, is equal to six. Now it's a matter of finding what x is equal to. And I can easily do that by dividing both sides by three. So just to clean this up, we should have three x is equal to six. And to find x, I divide both sides by three. This three and this three cancels out. And six divided by three is two. So we have one intercept at two, and zero. I'll plot this in a moment, but first I want to find the y-intercept. To find the y-intercept, we will set x equal to zero. So this x becomes zero, and this gives us two y is equal to six. Dividing both sides by two, I end up with y is equal to six divided by two, and that's three. So another intercept will be at zero and three. I'll take this point and this point and plot it on this xy plane. So two and zero is right here, and zero and three is over here. Now all I have to do is connect these points and I'm done. The line you see represented on the screen represents the equation for a. Let's do the same thing for b. This time we have y is equal to a third x minus four. This particular equation is in slope y-intercept form. That doesn't change anything. Once again, I'll set y is equal to zero and solve for x. And I'll show my work over here. So we have y is equal to a third x minus four. Setting y is equal to zero gives me zero is equal to a third x minus four. Bringing this minus four over, I have positive four, a third x. And to solve for this x, I'll multiply both sides by three. If I multiply this side by three, this three and this three cancels out. And four times three is 12. So 12 is equal to x. Therefore, my first intercept will be at 12 and zero. Now I will set x is equal to zero. And if I set this x equal to zero, I'll end up with y is equal to, and a third times zero is zero. So y is equal to negative four. Our point is at zero and negative four. Let's go ahead and plot that. Zero and negative four is one, two, three, four right here. And 12 and zero is 12 from the origin. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we'll assume that over here is two more blocks to the right of 10. Putting a line through these, and that right there represents what our equation should look like. There you have it. Two examples on how to use intercepts to graph linear equations.